Are you excited? Yeah. You're gonna be jumping on a plane here pretty soon. Yeah. Right. What What are you looking to do as soon as you get there? Uh, I'm looking to help mom with her stuff. You are. What stuff? Like helping helping around with the house, with the chores, and. Like helping with the cabinet, fixing stuff up. Nice. So, what else are you thinking of doing? I don't even know if they have in school anymore, right there, there now, or like if you're on the computer or have to go to school. I have no idea what they do in Colorado they anymore. Kind of do both. A little bit of both. Cool. Yeah. So just think about it. Aside of your suspension from kicking a teacher, you made every single day of school here. Yeah. You went from start to finish other than when you got kicked out. I think that is quite an impressive accomplishment. Yeah. I mean, really, yeah. So, do you, what do you think was was good of, of anything that, from coming here? What did you enjoy most? Hanging out with you. Yeah, I really enjoyed it too. You've actually been some of the best few months of my entire life. Believe it or not. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. Good, because it's true. So, um, so you're going to go and you're going to help your mom work on her cabinets and, yeah. and decorate out her rooms. Owen's going to miss you. I'm going to, I'm going to post the other video that I took from when we were doing that little nature hike mm -hmm. in the woods down there by the creek. So you guys can look at it when you get older and remember. Um, because you guys are going to look different. The <laughs> next time you see each other, you're going to be taller. He's going to be taller. He'll probably be going to college. You're probably not going to see each other very much. So, but Lindsay may come visit you because um, she's mobile. She, whenever, you know, she still has friends in Colorado, I think. But I'm trying to teach her how to stay put so that, uh, you know, she doesn't expend herself so much for other people and more for herself. So I'd kind of prefer her to stay close to wherever she considers home, which is right now it's Seattle. So I don't know if you're going to see her very much. She's really sad. Nobody understands what's going on. Doesn't really make, doesn't make any sense, you know, on, on, some planes, but uh, apparently um, everything is doesn't matter what hap what happens. That's just the way it is. Doesn't matter if it's a car crash or anything, or or someone giving you a love or a hug. It's all the same thing, apparently. Um, well, since. I just asked you if you really wanted to go, and you said yes. So that's really what made the decision, was you made the decision. I'm not going to hold you back. I'm not going to hold you down. I'm not going to keep you from what... It's from your, you making your decisions to the, the best of your ability. That's what's most important. That's how you learn. If someone else is making your decisions, you won't learn. There are some things like keeping you off highways and things when cars are going flying by, but other than that, everyone has to learn on their own. So, other than other than uh, hanging out with me, what, what else do you think was great about being here? Did you feel safe? Kind of. Kind of. 
like so safe for mosquitoes. <laughs> Yeah. I like having the door open. I like having fresh air run through. <laughs> so, but, so you're going to go help your mom with her cabinets and stuff, and hopefully you all get along better, right? Because right now it's as if nothing happened. You all got like a totally fresh slate. It's whole brand new opportunity it's such a an amazing such an amazing change of events but I, I don't know if we're gonna be able to fill up all your bags so well, I know you're you're taking your computer and stuff. Where are you going? What? Creston's, Creston's abode. So, you don't want any of these posters or anything? Yeah, I'm taking them. Uh, they'll get wrecked. Okay. I got something that I can do with these. Um, looks like Ms. Lee is calling. Let me stop for a second here. I'll, I'll, I'll let her. Um, I'll just call her back. So this is Creston's room. We we made a shelf out of something I reclaimed from a job. Creston wanted it, so we repainted it. He's got a little aroma diffuser that we put in here. Let's see what your favorite one was. Oh, the lavender. But this is kind of like his little his little temple for his. I call them like the Hamasaki dolls. I don't know what they are. And we had his closet pretty well organized. I don't think he's going to be able to fit everything. I'll be able to fit everything. Just you watch. Just you watch and learn. Watch well, those, that big bucket there I brought from my place, I think, over there. You don't mess with the Legos anymore anyways, right? Um, oh, well, we can donate those. Some kid will... Sure, appreciate having probably like what is it like five thousand dollars worth of Legos? No, it's not that much, maybe just a thousand. <laughs> no, that right there is probably a thousand dollars. But Creston has had the most comfortable bed in the entire house. That mattress is phenomenal. Are you sure? Oh my gosh, mine. No, I can feel the springs in mine. I mean, I, well, that too, yeah, but even me, heavy on yours feels good. So, glad well, to spend a nice little room. It's kept him safe. Spend his little safe, safe zone for the time being. And we've done a couple cool things. I've taken a couple trips for work. We once we went up to let's see if I can find it on here. Charlotte's probably. I think it's like right around. I don't even know. Probably like right here. I think Charlotte is right around here somewhere. Went there to pick up some Ikea stuff and stayed overnight at a hotel for Creston. So it was, in the, it was in the winter time. It was cold, so he could swim. That was cool. He really enjoyed the pool. We actually made the people open the pool because they had it closed. <laughs> We're like, you got to open it. This is why we came. So they opened it. Creston was happy about that. Would have liked to have gotten him up to the Smokies up here, but didn't get a chance. It's kind of a long drive, actually. We're down here. 
And it's like four hours to get up there, so we never really had a chance. And then we took another trip to another Ikea in Jacksonville. Because I had a client that had some things and no way to get them. So, so yeah, so. And we, we had a nice time at a beach resort down there. Got it just for him. Place with another pool and a hot tub and everything for Creston on the beach. So he really enjoyed that. Um, other than that, we really didn't go anywhere. Um, he pretty much likes this spot right here. He was he likes this little comfort zone. So, but he's getting all his stuff together, and uh, Owen's really gonna miss him. We had a, a uh, birthday party for Owen, and uh, believe it or not, my ex-wife. Uh, invited all of us together and so it was kind of a surreal day it was amazing actually it's one of the best days I've ever had in my life when uh, it was like such like a moment of acceptance and everything it was just phenomenal and uh, Creston loved it he and Owen wrestled a lot and played on the beach we played ball and they still have a little bit of overlap and things they're interested in and play with and but Owen, Let this be a relic for you. Owen is, of course, uh, you know, he's maturing and soon he'll be driving. And he and Creston probably would have been driving around a lot and having a good time together because they really had some really good affection going. Creston was giving Owen big hugs and Owen was loving it. You big hugs. Yeah. A lot of nature hikes and was actually kind of hoping that soon they would go kayaking on their own soon because Owen Owen's already taken all the classes and knows all about it so he, he's about that point where big brother when, is all my laundry done? Um, there's still a basket down there um, what else yeah it's been, been a tough road. Uh, it's not all been easy, but they're not washed yet. Um, Creston has a hard time in school a lot of times. He can't, he can't sit still a lot of times. But um, this last week, week and a half, somewhere around there, maybe two weeks, he's been doing really well. He's been able to sit down. and um, Like yesterday, he came up, gave me a big, big hug after school, says it was the best day so far. And how much he loves science so he's doing really well in science and uh so i haven't had like any calls from the teachers lately except now miss lee is calling me probably because she's aware that he's going to be going and uh so it's been just a, you know a wonderful time really i mean it's been a little bit of hard stuff. Creston sometimes he talks about how you know he imagines me getting eaten by sharks and things, so he can go back to his mom. Um, so that's kind of spooky. But uh, oh, hey, look at that! <laughs> There's a check. The mindful body. There it is. Well, I guess she can have it back because. There was no order ever in place, so. Um, and, oh, look at you, you found your mouse. But, uh, so no, it's been, been really good. It was really looking forward to some um, expansion. And he's, he was going to Moultrie to begin with, uh, which is the best school around by far. Uh, I've never even seen a school that good, actually. Um, most of the kids there are really mature, and uh, they got... Are you sure about that? One of them threw me into the ground. Well, so much all the kids that I've seen, I'm sure it seems like they can all go out and drive golf carts around on their own, it looks like. And they all go over to the... I mean, see, not my school. They they do it at they do it at Cario too. Yeah. Oh wow. 
That's kind of cool. You're everywhere in that sort of South Carolina. <laughs> right. So, anyways, we gave it what we had, and uh, so appreciated it. Oh yeah, Creston really. Uh, I am I am nothing but impressed with this kid. I mean, what he's gone through and what he'll probably kind of continue to go through. What percent is it from? <laughs> um, there'll never be a time when I think anything low of him because that's just that's just the way it is. So he's one hundred percent lovable and loved but uh, he really just is attached to I guess Colorado or something so so he will uh, that's what he wants and I guess apparently that's um, what everyone else wants I, today I tried contacting a bunch of people um, that dealt with the case of, I guess it was abuse and neglect and everybody uh, acts like it never happened. So that's just the way it is. And so there's, there's just nothing, you know, it's nothing I can do right now. So anyways, um, it's been a wonderful time, and uh, I think tonight we're going to go try to see the... We're definitely going to see the sunset, and we are going to um, go out to the beach one more time, and hopefully go out to a restaurant, but tomorrow we're going to go see Owen, so they can kind of both give their parting words, because they're probably not going to see each other for at least another four years. I know Owen will probably be graduated. And I think Owen will probably go to school either locally here or, um, actually, I don't know, but probably locally. And I, I doubt Creston will be coming back anytime soon. Um, and I don't even really know what's going on with myself now at this point. So I don't need three rooms. I probably, I probably can't, won't be able to afford it anyways. Um, here coming up so um, I have to downsize or go be a roomie somewhere um, but it's just been wonderful bud um, I'm really like hopeful for you and whatever all the blessings you need and everything for and just know that um, you can make your way and you are you this this whole thing is because probably because you wanted it so it's very impressive i'm very impressed thank you it, it really looks looks like it's working out for i guess everybody somehow i mean it's a little weird for my place to consider it working out but um apparently that's the way everything is so i love you and I hope things work out well. Thank you. <laughs>